Human embryonic stem cells were discovered over three decades ago and are considered a promising source of cells for regenerative medicine. This paper reports for the first time evidence of their long-term safety as well as potential efficacy in humans with any disease. We report the results of two studies involving the use of retinal pigment epithelium, or RPE cells, that were derived from human embryonic stem cells. These cells were transplanted into patients who had either Stargardt's macular dystrophy, which is a leading form of juvenile, juvenile blindness, or into patients with dry AMD, which is the leading form of blindness in the developed world. We followed these patients for up to over three years and didn't see any safety issues related to the transplanted cells. Overall, we saw about three lines of improvement on the standard visual acuity chart. This represents a doubling of the visual angle and is considered as clinically significant. To understand what this means, let's assume you're six foot tall. If a patient can now see you after treatment, then after, without treatment, you would have to have been 12 feet tall, taller than a flagpole, in order for them to see you. We also noticed notable improvements in the patient's general vision, near and distance activities, as well as in their peripheral vision. However, this doesn't really capture the quality of life for these patients. These patients report they can now use their computers, read their watch, or even go to the, the airport or to the mall on their own. Stargardt's disease is an orphan indication that results from a genetic disorder where the RPE die as a result of the toxic shed photoreceptors. Both Stargardt's disease, which is an orphan indication, and dry AMD result from the loss of the RPE cells in the eye. These RPE cells are the nerve cells that maintain the health of the photoreceptors, which are the cones and the rods that we see with. So in order to treat these diseases, we go in with new healthy RPE cells that were derived from embryonic stem cells. RPE are the nerve cells that maintain the health of the photoreceptors, the cones and the rods that we see with. They have many functions, including the ability to phagocytose the to shed photoreceptor segments. They can also metabolize and store vitamin A, and they also transport small molecules from the choroid into the retina. There are literally dozens of retinal degenerative diseases, and these diseases are usually caused by the loss of the RPE cells. So if these cells work, for instance, in Stargots or in dry AMD, there are many, many other disease, diseases, such as retinitis pigmentosa, that hopefully these cells will have value for. The eye is ideal for the first in human application of embryonic stem cells for a number of reasons. One is the eye is immune privileged and thus has an attenuated response to the transplantation of cells that are, are derived using this technology. Secondly, you can put a very small number of these cells into a very localized area and you do not have to expect the cells to do anything more than they naturally do.